fitness and wellness specialist Kimberly Lou, and welcome to my Foodie Fridays. Now I created this channel as a way to help me heal my gut and it's basically my hero's journey and a step-by-step -step guide to help you create some foods that you love. Now a lot of times I'm super busy and I don't have the time to sit there and cook a massive organic beautiful meal. It takes an hour or two hours. I just don't have the time for that. So what I wanted to do was an experiment. It's this coconut curry chicken. Now this is an Instapot. I have never used an Instapot. As a matter of fact, I'm terrified of it. I want, I want hopefully I don't blow anything up. But what we're going to do is we're going to experiment today, see if I can have a nice yummy meal in like 20, 30 minutes that the whole family enjoy. Let's get started. Anyway, okay, so I've been hearing a lot about this Instant Pot. You just throw everything into it and 20 minutes later, voila, you have a beautiful, healthy meal. So normally what I would do is I would take this chicken and fry it onto the stove, a little bit of olive oil, get everything and simmer it up in a pot, but it takes about, I don't know, an hour to do that. Now, who has an hour these days to cook? I know I don't, but I wanna make sure that I'm getting healthy anti-inflammatory foods for my beautiful stomach, as well as being able to feed my family beautiful, healthy, organic food too. Now, this is absolutely 100% paleo. It's also ketogenic. And it's also in the Whole30 with that particular book. I love that book, by the way. So anyway, we're gonna take this Instapot. I'm gonna put a link down below. As a matter of fact, there's a link to all these ingredients down below as well as a PDF file so that you can download and see if you can make it for your own family. Okay, here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need about 16 ounces of chicken. Now, I just took regular, happy, healthy chicken and I'm just putting it right into the pot. I cut it up into nice little slices. Put this in the key. Boop, boop, boop. Now you're gonna need one onion. I'm sorry, I totally just messed everything up. But you know, uh, you know, it's okay to make mistakes, right? You just keep going. So you're gonna take one onion and you're gonna put it in. This is a yellow onion. So one whole onion, put it in there, put it away. You're gonna take about three organic zucchinis put it in there I like mine a little bit bigger so this is a little bit more than three so I'm just gonna leave a little extra out here I'm gonna take one cup of tomatoes chopped tomatoes put it in here two tablespoons of coconut oil so here's one I like a lot of coconut oil <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's funny. Okay, now I'm going to take a teaspoon of chopped garlic. I just chopped my own. Boop, boop, boop. Get it all in there. And this is for later. This is the garnish for afterwards. All right, then I'm gonna take about two teaspoons of salt, just regular old salt. it like about two tablespoons right or no 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 not two tablespoons two teaspoons. <laughs> okay and now you're gonna do a half a teaspoon of paprika let me get my little things so about half a teaspoon put it in there next you're gonna do one tablespoon actually I'll do a little bit of, this, of curry now I love me some curry so I'll probably put just a little bit of extra, but that's okay. All right. And then last but not least, I'm gonna add two cans of coconut milk. It's the base for my coconut curry. Okay, just put it all up in there. All right, and we're gonna put one more in there. This is so fun for me. You know, I used to hate cooking, but ever since I started this show, I love cooking. <laughs> Just wish I had more time for it. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna like put it all in there. Let me just bring it in here a little bit more. And let's see, can you guys see that? Beautiful. This smells really good. All right. Okay, it's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna put this pot on there. 
That's right. <laughs> I did it. Okay, and the setting is you want to keep it on a soup broth with poultry. And let's put it in there for, I don't know, let's try it for 30 minutes. And we're going to pressure cook. Okay, we'll see what happens. Let's get started. Now we're going to take the soup out. You want to be mindful because again, if this is not done venting, it could burn you. So again, just be very mindful. I know that this is done. I love that sound. <laughs> okay, let's see. The soup looks really good. Oh yeah, this is gorgeous. Look at that beautiful, beautiful soup. Put it down here, put a little bit of a garnish on it. And there it is. Now let's taste it, see how it is. Mmm, that is so good. I did it, <laughs> I love it. I'm not afraid of this thing anymore. And I just made a beautiful stew in less than 30 minutes. Now this is a coconut curry. Hopefully you can figure out what you want to do with yours. I love comments. Tell me what slow cooker recipe you love to do down below. And I'm Kimberly Lou. and if this video helped you out in any way, please press like and subscribe. And remember, you don't have to do this alone. We're gonna work it out together. <laughs> now, I've never been able to put this on before, but you know what, I think, learn now. <laughs> oh, no wonder it's because it's trying, to, I'm trying to open it going that way. Hold on. Mark. <laughs> okay, I got it. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay. Okay, so everybody get in the lab. <laughs> Okay, ready? Okay, settle. And action. Do I have this right? <laughs> right.